How's it going, everyone? My name is Rick Bob's Toast, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Last time, uh, a bunch of crazy shit went down at the hospital, and we ended up back here. I believe we got stabbed. So yeah, now we're back here on the, uh, the lovely afterlife. Salmon. I wonder what this does. Oh. Nothing or what? Alright. Oh god! Jesus Christ. What can I help you? Yeah, you heard me. Who... who are you? I am the crow, of course. Of course. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it as soon as I can't miss them. Alright. Oh. Oh, Jesus. The hell are you? That's Susan like my girls. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. Jesus Christ. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna guess this one. Because... I don't know, I feel like... I feel like the other one's lying. Which door will take me back to my world? Oh boy. Oh boy. Brutal. Did I choose wrong or what? It's really unclear. I look pretty brutal right now. If you ask me. Alright, we are in a dark world of darkness. That is a lovely body bag. Let's go ahead and, uh, it's a hospital body bag. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Let's open her up.
It's me again. Hooray. Alright. Dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. Oh I think boy. it's time to find out how very mortal you are. My Doctor. name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in the steward. Ah, uh, shut up. We've already read that. Another unlucky victim of a killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Are those boobies? This episode is gonna be like age restricted now. Thanks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you stop doing that? Shit, I skipped text. Whatever it was. What are we doing here? <coughs> You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her to spitting him into the Mona Lisa. That's pretty fucked. Shit. We're a big skeleton that probably has been used for teaching before I end up here. Bolt. Take the bolt. Doctor probably considered himself quite an artist. You know what? Then I can build one here. All right. So looks like we gotta go around and find stuff to make ourselves a weapon. That is definitely an interesting. Holy shit! Brutal. A metal nut is stuck on her finger like a ring. I could pull it off and if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Her limb body is uh, positioned in the exact same way of point. Fuck it, it's whatever. Let's open it quickly. Take the wrench. Jesus. I don't know eyes to enjoy <laughs> your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs oh, out. Don't punch him like Loud, a I said. Jesus. Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. You are the worst. Psychologist, I've never met my life. For you, unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream a is yeah, like a blind. poem without Given words. Given some no one knows what this place. Your body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. This game turned really quick. I mean, it was already disturbing enough as it was, I mean... Shit. 
Alright, so we gotta make a weapon, I guess. Yeah, this is, uh, pretty brutal right now. Let's see, after this place... Alright, we're just back in there. Let's head down the hallway a little more. Pick up? Okay, why, why do we want to pick up the chair? Oh. So, why did when I came in here, did... I think that's saw blade. Uh, I think we have more than enough to make a weapon here, so I think we are... We're gonna examine a little more what the hell's going on. Oh, Jesus Christ. The body is quite badly de decomposed already, while real lasts forever. Doctor's models so soon. Rotten fall apart. The sick man, how did he mention how this madness? I guess he couldn't get a hold of a memory, so he used the creepy baby doll instead. Take baby doll's head. He could possibly find a use for this. Seems like this place has been closed down for a long time ago. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is, stuck in a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or was she really just already dead? Her pockets are empty. I hope at least you'll find some peace in death. Alright, so we should uh, have more than enough tools to make some pretty... Uh, okay, I'm not sure what weapon we're going to make here, but it's going to be pretty creative. I'll use that soap. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. No, 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 go back, get out of here. Alright, I got this, I got this. I know what we gotta do here. So we gotta head back to that one room, we gotta turn the water, and then... Actually, no, I have this one, I think it's this one. Yep. So, run hot water. And then, use soap. Covered in leather now, it might be useful for something, I guess. Alright, turn the tap water off. And let's go back out here. And let's go use that shit that we just got for, um, get this bolt off. I don't know why we'd need this bolt so bad. I mean, I guess we already have enough shit, but. Come on. Alright, there we go, we got the uh, lug nut or whatever. So let's head back to the room and make ourselves a weapon. Alright, that is back not where I wanted to go, so... Not gonna lie, the scream is getting a little noxious, but it'll all be over soon for the doctor. <laughs> See, let's use the workbench. Alright, got an iron baller. What game are you. Why are you playing Bethany's game? 
She's not a cat lady, Zach. That's rude. Uh... Could use that on top of a weapon, so... The sauce... So I would need to hear at the top of the weapon so the sauce is when I use it. Baby doll, let's do it! Oh my god. Yes. This is fucking... That's beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know what else we can make. A mace. The bolt needs to be secure in place now, otherwise it will just fall apart. Now I just need to tighten up that wood with another tool. Boom! The weapon is complete. I suppose it's time to go see the doctor. So you can use a spear or a mace. Dude, the mace is way more badass. Okay, let's so return to room. Use. I should get close to Dr. X first. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> We're gonna use a mace with a baby head on it. I'm coming, Dr. X. A lady with a mace. Let's go. Healing shark. What's up, Doc? Healing virus. Healing health. What's up, Doc? Jesus Christ! Amazing! Holy shit! What's up, What's Doc? up, Doc? Get fucked. He finally got what he deserved. I hope you rot in hell. Holy shit! That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh boy. He would have... He would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You, you gave Call him me. what he I deserved. Can't. Who are you? <laughs> Fuck this hospital. They call me the cat lady. Like now get out of here. Call the police. Chapter two, my bad. So we will be heading to chapter I'm three going next home. episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of the video. And I will see you all again one day once the uh, it starts. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a really nice. Okay, we're gonna have to go buy a cutscene. Really nice. Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No, my heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. I'm going to have to look up the gaming. The gamers that developed this game because it's a really nice game. I would really like to see what else they made. It's a really, really, really gorgeous game. Finally, that. First of all, I should wash off all this horrible memories of uh, last night. I'm dying for a shower, some meat, some coffee, and a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything's back to normal. I survived all that. Maybe I can try and enjoy a little things in life. Alright, so we are back at save point. So thanks for watching, guys.
Comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of the video, and I will see you all again one day.